testing natin. So, express. Tingnan mo yung ano. Ano yung sign ng second derivative ng first derivative from 0 to 1? 0 to 1. Oh, at kung may, kung ano yung sign niyan? Negative, negative or positive? Ano yan? Dapat negative lahat po to. So negative okay. lahat. Ano ibig sabihin kapag negative yung sign ng first derivative? Mm. Ano behavior ng function kapag decreasing yung negative sign? Hyperbole yata po, something. Basta may asymptote. Think. No. Ganito, kung... Di ba yung, yung, ano, yung function, analogous yan sa position. Yung first derivative, analogous siya sa velocity. So kapag zero yung velocity, ano yung sabi? I'm sorry, pag negative yung velocity, ano yung sabi nun? So it's going the other way, kumbaga po? Going to the left, no? Ngayon, for a function, syempre hindi naman siya motion. Ano yung, ano naman yan, interpretation kapag negative and derivative? So as x increases, anong trend ng function? The function decreases. So decreasing ah. yung function? Oo. Oh. Okay, so since the function is decreasing between 0 and 1, ano conclusion mo? Hindi zero po yung pinakamataas. So, minimum. Mm -hmm. Tapos, yung, yung minimum? Saan nangyayari? So, we know na nagsisimula siya from zero, nag-decrease hanggang umabot sa x equals one. So, maximum occurs at x equals zero, minimum occurs at x equals one. 
Pero hindi naman kasi yung X values yung maximum or yung minimum yung hinahanap natin eh. Ang kailangan natin yung values ng maximum at minimum mismo. So how do we get the values? Mm-hmm. So, yung ma- so yung maximum happens at 5 plus 3 is 8. <clears throat> ne- sorry, bakit negative 8 over 9 yan? Ah, wait. Saan mo dapat siya substitute yung... Ano ba yung, yung hinahanapan mo ng maximum? Anong function? No, yan yung, yan yung first derivative, di ba? Ah, no, wala. So, ito pala po yung... Ano mismo, hindi pala yung derivative yung iba. So, anyway, so, one, one, uh, six, Okay. And therefore, ano yung yung inequality? Okay, so Ah, between negative 3 and negative 5 thirds. Okay, number 19. Ano to? 5 over So let f of x And then I'm going to give them cool saying.
Okay, so... No, what's that? Uh, pwede pa refresh. Okay, wait a mo. Ayan. Ayan mo. Yeah. Ah, 4.33 na. Okay. Ayan. So, kailangan natin mahanap yung maximum minimum, no? So, pwede yata po i-factor siguro. Tapos, yung sinesearch natin ng interval ay pi over 3 to pi over 2. Uh, so, 
pati yung graph ko mo muna tapos hindi na lang ng mapagano. Uh, And then, gusto natin mo, ang, ang skill ng so makuha mo dito ay without looking at a graph. Okay, sige mo. Kasi yung mga ano eh, yung mga, hindi pa natin talaga na explore talaga yung mga yung first and second derivative test eh. Kasi yung additional math hindi pa parang siguro kalahati nung ano nung nung nung, nung, nung coverage nung PC7 doon sa sa kasi mas limited yung class of functions na ini-introduce nila doon sa additional math. Eh. Nagayto. Yung what do we know about um uh, the function? Una, walang bali yung graph niya. Tapos ay uh, yung derivative naging nag-exist smooth yung smoothing graph. Next, kaya mo bang gumawa ng table of signs para dyan sa graph, para sa cosine? Dyan sa ano, sa, sa ano na yan, sa expression na yan. Yung negative 4 cosine squared x plus 9 ay uh, tawag dito? Perfect square, difference of two squares yan, di ba? Abo. So, pwedeng isulat mo sa difference of, as a difference of two squares, yung factored form. Tapos ang guwahan table of signs. Para makita mo lang kung ano yung behavior ng, um, ng, ng expression niyan between pi over 3 and pi over 2. Kasi ang cosine of pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2, di ba? Tama. Tapos ang cosine of pi over 2, 0. So, cosine... Hindi. Yeah. And, 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 table of signs kasi... Kung may table of signs ka, malalaman mo kung from the from the signs of the derivative kung increasing yung function or decreasing. Kasi alam may zero may zero yan eh. Just sa interval na yan. So mga critical points are by over 2. Hindi. If factor out may four cos negative 4 cosine squared x plus 9 into negative 2 cosine x. Plus 3. Ah, okay. Tiyo mo. Ah, uh, pasti. Aha. Wait, wait lang mo. Uh... Uh, kasi kailangan, ito mo negative eh. Hindi siya basta pwede pa yung split ng gano'n. Baka ay mo. Hindi, pwede. That's going to be 3 minus 2 cosine x times 3 plus 2 cosine x. Ayun. Tapos, ang, ang ano niyan, ano ba yung, yung points of interest? Pi over 2 to pi over 3. So, saan nagsisiro yung mga yan? Ay, tayo, sorry. Mali yung factoring mo. Kaya pala um, parang weird. 
nag-pull out ka ng 3 sin x, di ba? So, ano nangyari? Bakit, man? 9 times 3, 27. Ma, so dapat uh, 3. Sige lang. Ah, yes. Tama naman ito. Pero square root. So, 3 minus square root of 2. 3 plus square root of 2. Yan. Ayan. Hmm. Ayan. Ano trend ng cosine between pi over 3 to pi over 2? Is it increasing or decreasing? Bila mo. Check mo natin. Uh, 3 minus 2. Ano ba na? Sine. Eh, cosine. Uh, i-calculate mo na yung values at the endpoints, pi over 3 and pi over 2, nung function mismo. At saka, kasi useful yun eh. Ay na, hindi dyan. I mean, yung hiwalay. Anong f of pi over 3? Ito yung f of pi over 2. Kasi kailangan mo rin, it, kailangan mo rin talaga i-calculate yung mga yan eh. So, subsit, gawin mo na. So, ito times... times uh two times yes two times square root Four times square times three fourth yung uh, cube yun no? yung function cosine cube minus yeah masaya ko lang cosine cube minus cosine x okay so three times so square root of three over two cube tapos so four tayo pa rin pakiri check yon no? yung yung f of pi over 3 kasi ang iba yung iba yung nakukuha ko eh Ilamo. so pakita mo na yung substitution pi over 3 cube ah so 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 cosine cube of pi over 3, so that's square root of 3 over 2. Uh, diba, um, ano yung cosine of pi over 3? Uh, 1 half. Uh, one. Ay, 1 half. 1 half. Tapos, uh, this is uh, cosine. No, sing mo na. Ah, Pi over 2. Ah, 0. So, 0, 0. So, 4, four over 8. 1 half minus 9 half. So, negative 4. Ta-da! A 
Okay. Tapos, yung sa table of signs naman, ano yung ano nangyayari sa, ano, sa, sa function? So, kailan nag-zero yung square root of 3 minus 2 cosine x? So, when x equals... So, yun muna. Ano yung mga zeros? Yung 3 sin x, may zero ba siya sa interval na pi over 3 to pi over 2? freeze pa. Mukhang nag-freeze kasi 47 pa rin nasa clock mo yun. Pwede pa kayo update Kaya, pwede paki-update ng screen kasi 4.40 something lang yung nasa clock mo. 4.50 na. Teka, pwedeng pakiri-share ng screen kasi hindi talaga nag-update. Ano ba? Ay, wala pa rin. 4.40 sa... Teka, 4.52. Okay, sige. Ngayon, yung sa ano, tingnan mo yung square root of 3 minus 2 cosine x. Okay. So, ano mo? Uh-huh. Ano yung signs niya between pi over 3 to pi over 2? Ah, uh, okay. May labo. Okay. May, may paraan para makita ko ano yung signs. Pero... 
Ano naman yan eh. Na, yung cosine kasi positive from from from, pi, from one half nagpupunta siyang zero. So dapat ang square root of 3 minus 2. Teka, pag pi over 3, okay, positive. So it's only square root of 3 minus 1, square root of 3 minus 0. So pa positive, no? Yung sine of x, positive din, di ba? Lobo. So, anong conclusion? Yung first derivative is between pi over 3 and pi over 2. Hindi, wala pa, oh, sorry, hindi mo pwede, wala kang pwede yung conclusion sa zero, between pi over 3 and 0. Hindi na yung in-examine yan. So, between pi over 3 and pi over 2 lang yung tingnan natin. Okay. And if if the derivative is positive, anong gina anong anong classing function yan? Uh, ano ba? Increasing. Increasing. Ngayon, tingnan mo yung endpoints. Evaluated at pi over 3, it's negative 4. Evaluated at pi over 2, we get 0. Ano maximum, ano minimum? Okay, so clear that interval. Okay. Uh, ano yan? Hindi, anyway, pag gano'n. Kasi since mag, magsi-zero na yung clock, tuloy natin to pag na, na start na uli yung room. para makita mo yung, ano, yung example kasi gusto kong gawin mo yung number 22 Tapos pa-share ulit yung screen mo. So. Oh, nga pala. Yung final answer na ini-expect ni Lighthold iri to two decimal places mo pa pala siya. Kalimutan ko. So, yun lang naman.
Kaya, nakashare na ba yung, pwedeng pa-share ng screen mo? Kasi blanco, sa ngayon, blanco lang siya eh. Blanco ba ba? Ano po yung nakita oh. na? Yung picture? Yung picture nyo lang? Sige po. Yun. Kita na ba? Sige. Okay na. Meron na. Ah, sige mo. Yun. Okay. So, yung sa number 20, yung page 22, ah, sorry, number 22, yung integral from 2 to 4 of x squared dx. So, using yung theorem na there exists a constant between a and b. Ang tawag dyan, no? Ang tawag dyan ay yung intermediate value theorem, I think, for integrals. So, basically... Or mean value theorem. Mean value theorem is better. Value theorem. So the mean value theorem states that. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Mm hmm. Mira So, anat na. Ah, uh, sa yung first the theorem. Ah, uh, for for integration. So here, FC. in the function, if the function is continuous, it's a continuous run interval, okay. It's being numbers T. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so it's for now. Oops. So, yung bong. Ah.
squared the c squared times four times two. Uh, wait lang. This is uh, twenty eight over three. Ngayon, um, eight times two is sixteen. Tapos, yeah, fifty-six divided by six. 28 over 3, tapos square root. Okay. Ngayon, to, uh, yung sagot to two, two, two decimal places. Kasi yun ang hinahanap ni Eli Gold eh. So ano yan to two decimal places? Okay, it's twice with that. Nasulat mo na, ano yan in two, dec to two decimal places? Nakamit ka ba? Ayun. To two decimal places, ano yung C? 3.06 Okay. Nakasulat na lang. Kasi yan yung hinahap ni Lightwood eh. Hanggang, kasi di ba, numerical integration. So, possible na, approxi na yung sagot ano yung niyan, approximation. Ano yan? Ano po yung use ng itong C po? Ano yan? Yan yung ano eh. Kung may function ka, yung C square, yan, yung C, yan yung, yan yung value na nagbibigay ng average. nung f of x. And yun, yung f, kaya siya tinawag na mean value theorem kasi yung integral divided by the interval is the average of the of the function being integrated. Okay, see you. Okay, so number 23 naman.
So the two decimal places na yung sagot. So for number 23, I need the salt, uh, plus. Uh, uh, pa update ng screen ulit. Okay. Kasi 48 yung time eh. Okay, so cube root of 15 over 4 or 1.55. Okay. Sige. Number 24 naman. Rock. Mami na po. Gumito na sniping po. Kita na po. Okay. Kita na.
So x cubed minus 1 dx. I think this will be numerical integration. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay. check it out. Um, that's going to be five Q. Six oh five over four. Bakit me ah okay so six six oh five over four divided by five. And then divided by five and then plus one minus one so plus one and then square root a cube root. Okay, 3.15. Ngayon, magbibigay sa example na function. So, isulat ko lang. So, paano kung yung, in, yung integral ito? 0 to 2. Nalala mo ba yung floor function? Oo. Okay. Pag uh, you, you know, default to the lowest, ano, yung ano, yung integer point. Okay. So, ito yung ano. Anong, ano sinasabi ng, ng mean value theorem about this, from this integral? Ito. So, bakit ito integral? So, sinend ko dun sa ano, sa messenger. So, floor of x from 0 to 2 dx. So what does the intermediate, I'm sorry, what does the mean value theorem have to say about this integral? Anyway, tuloy natin to sa, ano, sa next meeting. Pero gusto kong pag-isipan mo yan. May report po. Okay, kasi 6 p.m. na. So, I'll see you. So, sa, wala tayong meeting this coming Sunday, di ba? Oo. 
Okay. Kasi mabubulan okay. kayo. So, um, mag, yung makeup meeting natin for this coming Sunday, gawin natin Saturday ng ano, ng available ka ba ng Saturday two weeks from now na 10 a.m. to 12 noon? Oo. Okay, so yun na lang. So, i-remind na rin kita next time. Sige mo. Okay, so see you next time. Uh, you next. next time is Thursday ulit. Sige mo. So, math ulit tayo next time and then dalawang magkasunod na physics. Okay mo. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye mo. Sige mo. So, magkatapos na umiknat na na, yung after that.